All right, ladies and gentlemen, the first test build is now available. You can get access to it if you follow the Twitter link in the description down below. So first off, a couple of things before we get too far here. You will need either a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One controller to play this. Uh, more controllers and hopefully all controllers will be usable uh, for the final game, or at least all controllers that have the uh, required number of buttons. Uh, but for the time being, only the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One controllers are guaranteed to work. Um, if you want to try a different controller, by all means go ahead, but probably is not going to work, just so you know. Um, the other thing I want to mention too is if you're just tuning in, if this is the first you've heard of this game, um, this is not by any stretch of the imagination the full game. This is just a very small taste of what's to come. Um, this is just to get a little bit of feedback and for people to uh, try out the movement um, in this game. It is a third-person VR game, so I want to make sure that uh, most people are going to be comfortable with the movement. Some people, for sure, are probably are not going to be comfortable, um, but I think if you've got your, your VR legs underneath you, chances are you're going to be okay. Uh, so once you follow the link, it will take you to this uh, download screen and uh, on Mega here and just click to download. That'll take a minute or two. And once you got that, you'll have the zip file. Open it up and extract your extract your files to wherever you want them. I'm just going to put them on my desktop here. Okay, and then once they have extracted, go ahead and click on the exe file. And that'll start up. It'll probably, the first time you run it, probably take a, a minute to load and then once you're in here uh, what you're going to want to do is enable the VR right now if you are got your headset on you're just gonna see a gray screen so what you want to do is scroll down to the options and then VR enable. And when you do that, it will allow you to play in VR. Um, if your screen is not centered, hit the space bar and it will recenter the world around whatever your orientation is in your play space. So, uh, once you do that, and I'm actually going to disable VR so I can keep my eye on my notes here that I'm going to be reading off of here for you guys. Um, you can uh, remap your controls if you want to. I would recommend you don't do that at this point, but it is also useful so you can see what buttons do what. Um, one thing that is a known issue at the moment is... Uh, you don't want to remap your triggers. At least you don't want to remap them to anything other than the other triggers. So, for instance, um, you could remap R1 or uh, R2 with L2, and that would work fine. But if you try and remap them with... I'm going to put them back. Uh, if you try and remap them with one of the regular buttons, it's going to give you issues. So avoid doing that. Um, but other than that, everything should swap properly. Um, the only other thing is you can see there is a VR button, the one I've highlighted right there. Um, that one, actually, you don't want to mess with that one. Uh, since I installed this uh, functionality, um, Steam added a controller functionality and pressing that button will actually bring up the steam menu so it's just ignore that button um, if you that originally turned on and off the VR uh, now you just do it from the options menu here so um, 
but if you do want to remap your controls you have that option um, but then you can hit back here and then multiplayer is not available at the moment uh, that will be the plan is for that to be part of the the next test build so test build 2 will be uh, multiplayer focused and so for the time being you want to go into solo and this is your character select screen uh, pretty basic at the moment uh, there are three characters to choose from Sergeant Colder, Betty Poyle, and Cindy Poyoung. Uh, I would recommend to start off with you use Sergeant Colder yeah, primarily because he starts with a pistol uh, but you can pick whoever you want Cindy Poyoung is going to be the most difficult to start off with. She starts with a flashlight which is useful uh, but you're going to want to find a weapon pretty darn quick because the uh, wolves will be spawning in quickly. So we're going to go ahead and uh, grab Sergeant Colder here. Oops. I hit the back button apparently. Uh, and you may get this warning here that uh, is asking if uh, you want to allow access. Just uh, the reason it's doing that is because there is um, a network underbelly network framework set up already for this for this game so uh, it doesn't actually do anything at the moment um, but you just go ahead and click allow um, if you're in VR and it's taking a while to load that's probably why so <laughs> take off your headset for a second and just make sure that it's not trying to uh, to load um, so then uh, again if you want to uh, figure out what buttons do what you can always um, hit the hit the menu button on your uh, Xbox controller or the options button on your PlayStation 4 controller and then just uh, hit the remap controls and then you can kinda see what does what but uh, what your goal here is is and we lucked out here we found a torch right away um, you can uh, if you walk up to an object that you can interact with, you'll get a little prompt here, and you can see this controller shows you what button you need to press. So you press the uh, interact button, it, it will bring up your inventory here, and then you just select what spot in your inventory you want to put it in. Now you can bring up your inventory again by hitting uh, the triangle button or Y on your um, Xbox controller and then you can select the torch here and then you can select to equip it. Oh, we got wolves already. Um, so we're getting attacked here. I'm gonna bring out my pistol. These wolves are not patient enough. So uh, as I started to say, you can quick swap your inventory items. Uh, primary weapons such as pistols and melee weapons you hit uh, left and right on your analog and it'll bring them up and then secondary items like torches and flashlights and med kits uh, you can swap through your inventory by hitting up and down on your um, anal uh, I'm sorry on your uh, d-pad so this map will spawn in one it'll spawn in a bunch of random items around the map you will for sure uh, have one pistol and one hunting rifle and you will have for sure one of each of these ferns and I'll explain what the ferns do in a moment here what you're trying to do is you are trying to light these altars so you are going to need a torch and you when you light an altar you it consumes your torch so that's basically step one Step two now is that we need to get the flame to match the color of the altar. So ignore the fact that a fire is generally a yellowish orange. Um, so what we need to do is find a yellow fern. So here's a white fern, um, which is not going to help us in this case. Um, so we're going to scavenge and I can see the wolves have spawned in again. They're going to spawn in roughly every I think 50 to 120 seconds something like that and will spawn in more rapidly as you progress they will uh, each level um, is 
uh, accomplish well there's basically two ways to accomplish levels we're doing one right now which is um, getting the altar to match its color and I think I'm gonna skip ahead to where I find the fern so I can show you okay so here I in the meantime I found a flashlight uh, which is gonna be useful for finding things um, but uh, here's our yellow fern. You will have, there's five different colored ferns, and you will, at any given point in time, you will have one, at least one of each. So you will never be without what you need to complete the level. Now where exactly it will spawn, that's uh, up for you to find out, but but you should have one, at least one, at all times. So when you uh, put a torch into the altar, a new torch will spawn elsewhere, and the same thing with this fern. So when I put this fern in, a new one will spawn throughout the level, and you can see we've completed the first level here, and a new altar will spawn in somewhere around the map. I'm going to... I think there was a torch over here somewhere. We will be needing another torch in a moment, and it's also just useful, here it is, to have. So in addition to completing the level, uh, any enemies that are on the screen are spawned in, I should say, when you complete an altar. And here's our next altar, so we, we're looking for a white A white fern now, which I do believe we had one back by the by the last altar. So I'm gonna kind of head back there. I'm gonna hold on to my torch. I could light that altar right now, but I might as well hold on to it for the moment. Um, the downside of doing that is that I'm gonna have to drop something else. Maybe I will because I have a flashlight. I'm going to actually go ahead and light that altar, and then that'll free up an inventory spot for my fern. And we got wolves incoming. Oh, yeah, here they come. Some wolves, when they spawn, will howl, and some wolves will not. So sometimes you'll get a warning, and sometimes they're just gonna be, you're just going to see their red eyes in the distance. Or you might not see the red eyes in the distance and they sneak up on you. So here's our white fern. And I'll put it in my inventory. I am kind of running low on ammo here. I'm going to go ahead and grab this knife as well. And here's a wolf. Um, you do need a weapon of some sort to fight the wolves. You can't fight them. I think I'm out of ammo now. When he dropped, uh, enemies can drop items, they don't always. Uh, yeah, we're out of ammo with our, with our uh, gun. But yeah, you do need a, a weapon of some sort to fight the enemies. If you don't have a weapon, you will just be murdered. So, this should complete this altar. And now we're on to the third level here. And completing every third level is slightly different than the other levels. And what we're trying to do now is we're trying to put a ruby into this tower here. And by, to do that, we need to find the crate that has the ruby. So three crates should have spawned in. There's some ammo. So we'll put that right there. And you can reload a gun, a gun if you have it equipped by hitting circle on the PlayStation 4 button or it's the B button on your Xbox One controller. You can also just combine and then reload that way. Uh, you can also stack ammo. So if I drop my knife here for a second, um, you can, I think it's 26, yeah, so we can't fit all that ammo onto one spot, but uh, 
We'll take what we got there and then leave the rest for the moment. And this is the hunting rifle. I highly recommend you grab it. If you see it, I'm going to go ahead and leave it though, actually. Uh, and this is a med kit. I will demonstrate that very quickly. Probably have some wolves spawning in here in a second. So um, you can see it. Oh, pff, I was more right than I knew. Uh, let me get a little bit away. And he's got me down to half health. Now the different characters have different amounts of health. Uh, we And we have the... Wolves will be spawning in faster now, and there will be more of them. Every three levels, I think, they start to... Uh, you get, like, one more wolf, potentially, per, per wave. Um, so, with this med... If we've got this med kit out, uh, hit the... the right bumper to use it, and you can see it bumped up a little bit there. And then once you use it, it'll start creeping up. Um, in this case, we have three more uses left of this med kit, so we could go ahead and keep bumping it up or we can kind of let it sit and regenerate if we take damage in the meantime uh, it will stop okay now here is a uh, crate this is what we're looking for so we need the knife out and then we just get close enough and it'll pop it open um, those lids are not popping open quite as much as I'd like um, that's not it it once you pop it open if there's something in it how much ammo do we have left so oh, we got a bunch still um once you pop open one of the crates uh even if it you can't the lid doesn't come off it like that one didn't uh if there is something in it uh you will be able to get it uh, there are three crates that spawn in. One of them doesn't have anything in it, which is what we just found. And then one of them's got the ruby, which is what we're looking for. Um, so you can, we'll pick that up. Um, I'm actually going to drop my flashlight for it. Uh, and then the final crate, which is still somewhere around the map here. Oh, right there, actually, should have ammo in it. So we'll go ahead and bust that open. Yeah, and you can see it says pick up ammo. Oh. Takes three hits with the knife to, to kill. And he hit me, so our health is going back down. So I'm going to drop my knife now. Because the knife is, is definitely the weaker of the things. And just hold on to that ammo. And now we're going. We're going to try and find the the tower. Should be back this way somewhere. Would be nice to have the flashlight. Okay, but there is the tower, and uh, you just have to have the the uh, ruby in your inventory, and it should recognize that. And then walk up to the tower, and then place it, and then we've got a level complete. And now it should go back to the altar levels so you it's you do two altar levels and then you do one tower level and on and on uh, and the wolves should spawn in more regularly and more of them um, trying to think what else to go over um, uh, yes once uh, once you get past the second tower level, the altars will start. Um, and you can't pause this, by the way. I'm actually going to back out because the wolves are probably going to spawn in here in a second. Um, once you get to past the second altar level, the... I'm sorry. Once you get past the second tower level, the altars will begin to have the potential to require more than two ferns. So, for instance... You might get an aqua, which requires a blue and a green fern. The basic fern colors are blue, green, yellow, red, and white. And you will start to need combinations of those to uh, complete an altar. You will never need more than two to complete an altar. So they're all combinations of two of those five at maximum. And in fact, if you... Uh, add a 
add a color beyond a two color mix it will the flame will just turn the color of whatever the last fern you put in was so for instance uh, if you already have an orange flame which is red and yellow combined and then you put an additional red the flame will just turn red uh, so I think that about covers it um, please just uh, have fun uh, give it give it a whirl give everything a, a try uh, let me know if there are issues let me know how the, the VR motion feels uh, what I recommend is that you use the controller to move, to do the looking around and keep your head basically looking forward. That is what I've found to be the most comfortable, uh, especially if you're moving the controller a lot. Um, if you're if you're not changing the direction you're facing at the moment, you of course. Um, well, you should feel fine turning your head at that point, but generally speaking, I would recommend rather than swinging your head too much, just use the controller and move your whole uh, field of view that way. That's what I found to be the, the most comfortable. Um, but let me know. Let me know uh, if, if it feels good. Let me know if it doesn't feel good. Um, if you have some suggestions on how to make it feel better if you do have some problems. Another thing, if you do feel a bit motion sickness, um, turn off the VR and maybe try, you know, if you're feeling really motion sickness, just stop. But uh, if you if feel like you can maybe play just regular for a while, see if the motion of playing regular on, on a standard monitor um, acclimates you maybe a little bit and then after a while try the VR again and see if that makes any difference I don't know if it will it's just something I've uh, thought might help but I don't I don't know I I don't have motion sickness with this game I do have a fair amount of experience with VR in general though so um, I wouldn't recommend this if this is your first VR experience um, start with just standard room scale games because uh, this this will probably make you sick if you haven't done any VR before but uh, please send any feedback that you have through uh, PMs uh, on reddit which I will give a link below or else you can email me directly uh, that I will also link below but uh, yeah enjoy yourselves and let me know how it goes